Hi. Um <laughs> I have an exam. <laughs> I have an exam and I'm nervous. And I can't wait for it to be over because it's my last one for like this half of the exams. I decided that I'm gonna film a little weekly reading vlog because it's like Easter weekend as well so I'm gonna have like more free time and I still will be studying but I will be reading a lot more because I had to pause my reading for the exams <laughs> but anyways as you can see I'm not ready um I still have like 10 minutes until I need to start getting ready um so I decided to film a little intro I'm back <laughs> It's been a while since I've been back. I took my exam. Um, I didn't even think to film anything because I was way too nervous. Um, it went fine. Um, I think I'm going to pass it. I wasn't very confident. And because we were like separated. In s Hello. We were separated into two groups. So the group in front of us, as they were walking out of the classroom, they were all going. I was like, what the hell? Like. Are there, like, hard questions or, like, what's the situation? Um, apparently we had different tests. So, mine was, like, a lot easier than what I was expecting. So, it went better than, well, I thought it was going to be worse. And because my ex expect I can't speak. Because my expectations were so low, everything turned out fine. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to pass it, which is, which is great. Um, but now that, um, I have, like, five days worth of doing nothing, well, I am gonna study, but it's fine. I can pretend that I'm gonna do nothing. I'm actually reading, and I didn't, I didn't take my book, so excuse me. <laughs> I'm reading Cricket Kingdom. Um, but I'm rereading it because I reread Six of Crows because I wanted to annotate my copy. Um, and then I bought Crooked Kingdom and now I'm annotating and, um, tabbing it and stuff like that. I'm like, I have about that much left. I'm scared. I'm scared, but it's fine. Oh, nice. Um, my mom was watching tennis. Um, she was watching Djokovic against Musetti. We're Djokovic fans, but um, she had to go to yoga, so now I'm watching the the game as it plays out so I can tell her who wins afterwards. Anyways, um, that's my current read, but I'm also currently reading an ebook as well. I'm doing that thing where I read an ebook and a physical book, um, just because I usually read my ebook at like when I'm in class, which I know sounds bad, but sometimes I just can't focus in class and I might as well just be doing something, so I'll just pull out my ebook and then I'll just read it in class. <laughs> Sounds really bad, okay? I swear I'm a good student. I've passed all my- knock on wood, but I've passed all of my exams so far, so I must be doing something right, okay? But um, my ebook is The Night Agent by Matthew Quirk um, because I saw the Netflix show. It's like one season, but it's renewed for a second one. It's called The Night Agent. It's really good. Um, the only thing that I'm kind of scared about is the, um, the fact that there's romance in the show, uh, between the two main characters, um, Rose and Peter, but I've heard that there's no romance in the book, but also there's, like, very little, like, about the book <laughs> anywhere, because when you search it up, all you're gonna get is the TV show, so this is also kind of like an experiment, um, and I'm pretty sure that if it doesn't have romance, this is, like, the first book that I've read, like, not against my will, that doesn't have romance. So, that's exciting, but that's my ebook, um, and I'm pausing that one right now because I really, really, really want to finish this. And then, after I finish it, I'm probably going to start The Raven Boys, <laughs> because I've been wanting to read that series for, like, three years, and they didn't have the books, and now they finally have them. But yeah, that's that. Anyways, um, I wanted to talk about something else as well. Oh, uh, I'm going to be staying up pretty late today. And by pretty late, I'm, I mean I'm probably going to be staying up until 4 a.m. Because I've become obsessed with hockey. And I'm watching the NHL. And I 
never, like, I can never watch my favorite team, Toronto Maple Leafs, by the way. I will accept no hate on this channel. You can have your own opinions. Do not hate them, though, in my comment section. Although I don't get comments, so I don't even know why I'm saying this. But just to put it out there, I'm not condoning any hate for any team. Um, but whenever Toronto Maple Leafs play, I can never watch them because they always play at, like, midnight or at 1 a.m. And girl has to sleep. But guess what? Girl has five days to catch up on sleep. So you know what? I'm going to stay up and I'm going to watch them play live. I'm so excited. Um, if In case you were wondering, my favorite player is Mitch, but I also really love Matthews. So. Yeah, I'm obsessed with ice hockey now. I'm going to make a video about it. Um, I won't tell you what the video is about. <laughs> um, but as soon as I have more time, I will do that. In case you're wondering why I'm wearing the same shirt, it's because these are my pajamas and I refuse to not become Faye in my own home. Okay. But I'm gonna read now. Hee <laughs> hee. This is my highlighter, by the way, if anyone was wondering. Um, it's a pastel yellow one and then this is the pen that I use to annotate. Let's go. line was in this while in chapter but i'm gonna read it to you um in hopes that it will make you want to read the series um it says until this moment wylan didn't quite that is not what it says it says until this moment wylan hadn't quite understood how much they meant to him his father would have sneered at these thugs and thieves a disgraced soldier a gambler who couldn't keep out of the red but they were his first friends his only friends and Wylan knew that if even if he'd had his pick out of a thousand companions, these would have been the people he chose. I read that really poorly. I'm really sorry. But I love him so much. I'm, I'm trying to think, like, I use orange for, like, friendship moments because this is, like, a found family book, so I need a tab for that. Um, and I use green for quotes, so I don't know if I should add a green one or an orange one but I think I'm gonna do green because I like the way that it's written and I just used orange so I don't want to use orange again it doesn't really fucking matter but I'm gonna do green come to mama <laughs> I can't read you the line because it's a spoiler but I love Nina with my whole heart she is like my spirit animal and I wholeheartedly believe that if I could meet the crows, Nina would be the one to befriend me. Like, immediately, and Jesper. But I think me and Nina would bond over our love for food. Because we both adore it. And she's my queen. And I think she's also a Leo, just like me. <laughs> Judges so much in any sport. <laughs> Is that what they're called? Judges? Referees. Sorry. <laughs> damn it, damn it, damn it. He lost. <laughs> no, I'm so sad. 
I stopped reading my book for this. I don't want to tell my mom he lost. I don't want to deliver bad news. I'm in no ways a psychologist yet, um, but I do study psychology. Um, and Jesper in uh, Crooked Kingdom has a gambling problem. Um, and this is what Inej tells him um, when she talks to him about it. She says, there is a wound in you, and the tables, the dice, the cards, they feel like medicine. They soothe you, put you right for a time. But they're poison, Jesper. Every time you play, you take another sip. You have to find some other way to heal that part of yourself. Stop treating your pain like it's something you imagined. If you see the wound is real, then you can heal it. And that is so true. Like, she is spot on. And I really like rereading books for this particular reason. Because you grow as a person over time, you catch different things when you reread books. Even if you don't enjoy it as much as you did when you read it the first time, which is understandable, you'll still catch other things that you didn't catch the first time around. And because I have more knowledge of psychology now, um, and I had none when I first read the book, I can appreciate it in a different way. And I really like that about reading. It really makes it magical. And they're just putting bars, though. <laughs> I know I said I'd stay up. I'm really tired. I'm really tired. And I kind of just want to sleep. Like, it hasn't even started yet because it's like 12.55. I'm so tired. I don't feel like going to bed at 4. I think I'll just go to bed. Oh, I'm such a pussy. <laughs> first talking update that I have for you for today um because I was just kind of doing my own thing the whole day and also I didn't um film anything yesterday I'm really sorry um but I went out with my friend so I didn't really like want to make her uncomfortable by vlogging and stuff like that and afterwards I finished Crooked Kingdom <laughs> and there was no soul or motivation left in me anymore so that's why I didn't film anything yesterday, but as you can see, I got a haircut. Isn't it cute? 
Um, my hair was getting way too long and I, I had to snip it off and also it was like, like damaged and it was getting really tangly and I don't like that. I already have thin hair, I did not need it to be that long and then weighed down. But yeah, um, in terms of reading, I started um, The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiefvater. Um, and I think you already know that, um, but I'm on page 66, chapter 7. I already adore this book. I already know that this series is going to be my new personality trait for like maybe the rest of my life. Um, I'm already in love with the characters. I really like the writing. I'm gonna read you like some bits and pieces from it. Um, I really like it and I knew I was gonna like it. Um, but then right before starting it, I was like, what if I don't like it and I have all these like high expectations for it? I did not need to worry. I know within like the first 50 pages of a book whether I'm going to like it or not and I know I'm going to love this book <laughs> yeah um I've been wanting to read this series for like three years because I heard um Hannah from A Clockwork Reader recommend this series and I'm already like I'm all I'm just now reading it because they didn't have it at my bookstore and then they finally had it so that's really cool um, but yeah, I, I really enjoy the writing. I've read a different book by Maggie Stiefvater. Um, I read Shiver, um, and I really didn't like that one. Um, but I wasn't scared about reading this, because I know that, like, authors can have really different, like, writing and concepts and books and stuff like that. Um, and also that one's, like, an older series, and this one is also kind of old, but it's, like, an old school series, and a lot of people I've heard talk about it, so nice i'm gonna try and read you some like parts because i really like them um oh i should read you the back of the book that's smart i'm, I'm gonna do that <clears throat> it says even if blue hadn't been told her true love would die if she kissed him she would stay away from boys especially the ones from the local private school known as the raven boys they only meant trouble but this is the year that everything will change for blue this is the year that she will be drawn into a strange and sinister world of the Raven Boys, and the year Blue will discover that magic does exist. This is the year she will fall in love. I think this is considered like a paranormal fantasy romance, I think. I'm not quite sure. Because the um, back of the book is so vague, I can't, I don't, I can't really tell you anything else. Also because I'm like right at the beginning of the book, um, but I would highly recommend going in blind because that's what i'm doing and i'm having so much fun i think this is going to be my most annotated book that i own well after damaged like us that that one's pretty annotated but like every other page i'm just like writing my th my thoughts out like i'm having a blast reading this book um i'm gonna try and read you some quotes just so you can get like an idea of the writing and stuff I never realized I could look at the full cover if I did this. I know that sounds stupid, but I... Not all of my moments are bright, okay? I have my stupid moments. This is a character called Gansey. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, you meet them really early into the book, obviously, because I'm really early into the book, so none of like the things that I'm going to read are spoilers. A museum curator in Mexico had once told Gansey, Son, you have an uncanny knack for discovering oddities. An astonished Ro Roman historian commented, You look under rocks no one else thinks to pick up. Slick. And a very old British professor had said, The world turns out its pockets for you, boy. The key, Gansey found, was that you had to believe that they existed. You had to realize they were a part of something bigger. Some secrets only gave themselves up to those who'd proven, the so who'd proven themselves worthy. The way Gansey saw, saw it was this. If you had a special knack for finding things, it meant you owed the world to look. I know I read that really badly. I'm really sorry. Um, I'm not that good at reading things out loud. So just bear with me here. Um, also, also, one thing I really love is how, like, they... How the book describes stuff. Like, how the characters describe other characters. Because I'm really big into, like, characters and connecting with them and stuff. And because I'm getting so much insight about how they work and, like, habits and stuff like that. Which is explained 
in this book like so well i feel already so connected to the characters and i love them so much even though like i barely even know them like 66 pages come on that's like barely anything this is what i mean um when i say that i love how descriptive the book is but not in like an invasive way like not everything is described but like the most important things are and that's what i really love about it um this is like adam looking at gancy and then he's just you know describing him gancy himself sat at an old desk with his back to them gazing out to an east-facing win window and tapping a pen his fat journal lay open near him, the pages fluttering with glued in pa passages and dark with notes. Adam was struck, as he occasionally was, by Gancy's agelessness, an old man in a young body, or a young man in an old man's life. I immediately, like, know what that person looks like now. I know the vibe that I'm supposed to be getting from that person. It's so good. It's so good. I love this type of writing. I can see like why it wouldn't be for everyone, but I really, really like it. Also, the book is very atmospheric. So if you like atmospheric books, I think this would be good. I know I'm recommending it without even like finishing it, but like it's just so good that like that's the vibe that I'm getting. Um, what I mean by I love this friend group is there's a bunch of quotes where like, because the friend group is already established and now the book has to show you that they're close, right? And it does that in a very, very nice way. Like, the character interactions between, like, the four boys are feel so natural. I can definitely, like, see them play out in my head. Like, that would absolutely definitely happen. And they act like friends who have been friends for a long time. And I love that. I love reading that in books. It says, This is why Adam could forgive that, that shallow, glossy version of Gansey he'd first met. Because of his money and his good family name, because of his handsome smile and his easy laugh, because he liked people, and despite his fears to the contrary, they liked him back. Gancy could have had any and all of the friends that he wanted. Instead, he had chosen the three of them. Three guys who should have, for three different reasons, been friendless. I wish to cry, I wish to sob, because that is so, like, it's so good, it's so good. I love like found family tropes in any book ever that is like my all-time favorite trope and i am so pleasantly surprised that it is in this book i could not be happier um but yeah i'm gonna go um sleep now or just lay in my bed but yeah that was my update <laughs> Tuesday. Um, if the video is a bit shaky, it's because I just drove for the first time, like by myself. Um, I drove myself to class. <laughs> I'm about to take like the five minute walk over to campus, but it was really good. I have really big driving anxiety, so this was a big step for me. But um, driving went really well yesterday and on Sunday, so I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do it. Like, it's fine. I've like driven this route so many times like as practice because i'm gonna need it you know um and it was fine and i'm really happy with myself and now i'm gonna go to college but i just wanted to update you um but yeah um i'm halfway through the raven boys by the way and i'm adoring it and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be five stars so that's very hot um love that for me but yeah i'm gonna go to class now um and then when I get home, I'll probably read, maybe study, but I think I'll just read because I need to give myself some kind of reward for what I did. Um, yeah, God, it went so well. Like, I thought it was going to go well, obviously, but like, oh, it was so good. Like, there were literally no problems. 
which I guess is to be expected. Like I, I've had my license for two years now. Like this is the third year I'm having my license. Um, and I'm just now starting to drive like by myself, but you know what? It's fine. I did it and I'm so proud of myself. So this is a PSA for you. If you're scared of doing something, practice it a bit and then just do it. It's going to be a bit scary the first time. But I promise you it's fine. It's going to be okay. I'm going to go to class now. Well, I'm going to call my mom and tell her how my driving went and then I'm going to go to class. I drove myself to college again, um, obviously, because I did it yesterday, so obviously I'm gonna do it today. But I'm gonna have a snack now because I'm here like half an hour early. And I don't wanna be just sitting in front of the lecture hall for no freaking reason. So I'm gonna eat my cashews and I'm gonna sit here. Um, I didn't read any of the Raven Boys last night. I think I only read like. Side note. One really weird thing that I do that, excuse you, one weird thing that I do that I didn't realize I was doing until right now was that I always, when I eat cashews, leave like this much in the bag. Like this part right here. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm paranoid that there's people around. But like, that's, I always leave that much. I never eat all of them. What is wrong with me? Hi. I've been, I've been drinking water for a minute. That's great. Um, it is the last day of this vlog. Dang it. I'm sad because I really liked vlogging, even though there I don't think there are a lot of clips of me talking in this vlog. Sorry about it. Um, but yeah, I just washed my hair. It is Thursday, April 20th. And I'm going to have class in like half an hour but it's an online class, so that's good. That means I'm not gonna listen or participate and I'm just going to read my book while whoever is supposed to be doing the lecture is just gonna talk in the background um, because it's not our usual professor. It's like a, a different one. I don't know. I don't even know like what the lecture is because I don't think it's from the material that I need for the exam. Speaking of exams, you know that, like, at the beginning of the video, the exam that I took, I passed it, I got the results, and I passed it with, like, 71%. The fuck? That's so good. I'm so proud of myself. Um, that was my goal. I wanted to pass all of them so then I could pass the second parts and then just be done with it and have, like, literally no like studying to do in summer for college i just wanted the summer for myself and i'm now going to definitely achieve that because now that i've passed the first half of the exams i my phone has rudely interrupted me excuse you but anyways as i was saying the goal is to have the summer for myself anyways after the lecture we you and i together we are going to go to the bookstore because I want to get um, The Dream Thieves and uh, Blue Lily Lily Blue, which are the second and third book in the Raven Cycle, because I'm like 60% of the way through um, The Raven Boys. I'm 60% of the way through and I'm going to be finishing it soon, so I'm gonna need the next book to immediately start it because I'm obsessed with these characters, I'm obsessed with the story, I'm obsessed with the writing, I'm obsessed with the world, I'm obsessed with all of it. And I'm so happy that I'm finally reading the series. 
Dude, there has been construction in this fucking building since fucking September of 2022. I, I've had it up to here. All right. It's, that is not normal. What the hell are you doing? It's always the same person the whole time. Dude, se October, November, December, January, February, March, April. Seven I have not had peace in seven months. I'm so sick and tired of it. Do you know how many times I've wanted to film a video and couldn't because there's going on in the back? I'm so angry. I'm so mad. I want to rub my eyes and... Anyways, that's that. Um, that's what I, I wanted to update you on. Um, okay, I think it's fitting to end this vlog where I originally started it. So here I am. Um, I did not finish The Raven Boys, but I'm finishing it right now. But it's Friday today. So this is where I'm ending the vlog. So you will not see me finish The Raven Boys. Um, but something did just happen. So I'm going to run back over there to my couch um, so I can finish it. But um, yeah, that's the end of this vlog. Um, I hope it was fun. I don't know how much footage I have, but I will do my best to put something entertaining together. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment if you'd like, maybe subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.